Hi, my name is Håkan Gustafsson. I'm the product manager from Sweden for Lab Group and Performance Install Products. And it is today with great pride that we introduce D-Series. It's newly launched for this show. And its tagline is integration superpower, because no matter what your preference is on audio networking or DSP matrix in your system, D-Series is the natural choice for you. So we launched the PLM series in 2007, and even that was a, a high-performance touring product, it quickly became the preferred choice in high-end installations, probably due to its feature set and its power density and its reliability. And now we have uh, references in all the major league sports in the US, and also a lot of installations in the rest of the world and in Europe. So we've taken everything we learned from the PLM success in installs, but now we've done a dedicated installs range of amplifiers. So D-Series is really one platform, but it comes in two variants when it comes to DSP and audio networking. So we have one version with the renowned Lake Processing and Dante Audio Networking, and also through a unique partnership with Biamp, we can offer a Tysera version, and that's fully integrated into Biamp's Tysera range of DSP products, and then using AVB as an audio network. D-Series comes in three models. They're all four channels. They're all two units of rack space, and we have three power levels, the D200 and the D120 and the D80, ranging from 20,000 watts down to 8,000 watts. So these are some of the key benefits and features with D-Series. Uh, with D-Series, we're having a new unique way of sharing the power between the channels in, the, in a frame. So we can uh, skew the power and inc actually increase the power from the average quarter on a single channel up to, up to 5,000 watts. And with these two variants and its t open interoperable platforms, we can integrate to any major DSP on the market. And the uh, power platform on D-Series actually carried over from the PLM 20,000Q. So it's a very unique power supply with the power factor correction done in a very nice way. We can promise 0 0.98 as a power factor for any significant power. And what that means is that we can uh, supply the burst power available, but not draw nasty mains peaks on the current draw. We can do that with the nice sinusoidal uh, signals, and we can recharge the, our internal storage uh, between the bursts. Uh, D-Series also has the class, uh, classic uh, patented Class TD amplifier modules. They are road proven and known for their sonic performance and also with its efficiency. And they are all capable of delivering 194 volts as a voltage swing, so constant line voltages for 1700 volts is not a problem. With D-Series, we're also launching CAFE. It's a new software suite that aims at the helping the contractors and the designers throughout the phase of the project, so saving time in each individual step. Uh, D-Series also has uh, load surveillance built in and redundant audio paths, so pilot tone monitoring for the loads and dual redundant paths for, for the audio. And with these features, we can bring any system into compliance when it comes to PAVA, voice evacuation, mass notifications, regulations. This is more on the rational power management. So true flexibility of skewing power between the different channels. Easiest to explain is probably, take an example, the D80, it's four channels, 8,000 watts in total, 2,000 watts per channel if you divide it equally, but we can skew the power on one channel all the way up to 5,000 watts. And what that means is that for a given installation where you have varying re power requirements, you might have bigger zones than smaller zones, you might have an actively driven system where the low frequency is more power hungry than the high frequencies. And what you probably would do then is to specify a, a, an amplifier that's big enough for the biggest channel, and then you're wasting headroom on your other channels. And what we can do is that we can specify a smaller amplifier use rational power management to skew the power on the hungry channels and still have enough available power to share between the other channels. We've done some case studies where we can prove a system cost reduction of 20 to 30 percent just by utilizing the rational power management. And we do this without losing any channels. Some of our competitors kind of do the same thing through bridging and summing their channels, but then you 
lose channels and the cost of the remaining channels goes up. The CAFE software suite is really aimed at helping the designer. We are having a section of uh, CAFE that's called ESP, Equipment Specification Predictor. And if you start your design with an acoustic simulation, you know what speakers you have and you know what power requirements they have. But how do you drive them from a single amplifier channels? Do you uh, parallel a couple of the speakers together or do you do a, s a fancy serial parallel combination? We can help you with those trade-offs and figure out what the consequences will be on the amplifier channels. Also taking into account the cabling and the loss of power in cables. Once you have all these amplifier channels, there's still a challenge of placing them optimally into frames. Which channels do you pick together in a single amplifier and which amplifier frame size should you pick? We can do that on a, on a system-wide level as an optimizer, minimizing the wasted headroom and fitting everything together at the lowest possible system cost. CAFE is also your uh, software for the commissioning phase. Once you're online with your amplifiers and you've done your design in, in CAFE, then you just go online and push all the amplifier commissioning uh, parameters. It's also the UI for rational power management, and it's also the UI for our impedance monitoring and uh, load surveillance system. So the first you would do when getting on site is probably do an impedance sweep, and that's built into the platform. A single click in our user interface, and you get a uh, impedance response, figuring out if there are any miswirings or any problems. And then if you want to use pilot tone monitoring, there's a single calibration button, figures out the, uh, the frequencies, the levels, and the thresholds. And if you're happy with those, you just enable, and you have 24-7 load surveillance on your system. More details on the D-Series Lake. Uh, it's actually a brand new hardware for lake processing. It has twice the processing power of our previous generation. So we can now do four individual modules that are fully groupable and controllable. So you can walk your venue uh, using the lake controller with its unique MESA EQs and tune your system. And we also bump the I.O. capabilities. So we got now have four analog channels, uh, four AES channels, and eight dual redundant Dante channels. With D-Series Lake, there's also a comprehensive third-party protocol. So uh, with that, you can integrate with all major DSPs on the market. Lab Group and will aim at helping you with that, with providing code examples and code modules that will help in that integration. Contact our application engineers for support on that. D-Series Tessera is a full integration into the Tessera environment. If you know Tessera and their remote expanders, that's sort of a small box with analog I.O. We're a remote expander, but with lots of power. And it's just as easy to integrate into a Tessera system as that. Uh, we also have fully managing of the amplifiers from the servers. So they store all the data configuration, all the amplifier parameters are stored within the server. So if you for any reason need to replace an amplifier, you can do a host name replace. You just change the host name on the new amplifier, plug it into the system, the server will detect it and download its entire configuration. All the amplifier surveillance is also brought into the Tessera environment. So if you have fault reporting in, in Canvas or make a custom UI, the amplifier surveillance and the load surveillance is just a part of that. It uses AVB as audio transport from the servers to the amplifiers. Uh, there is also an optional analog input card, microphone or line input, either used as a failover from the AVB stream, if that should go down for any reason. Uh, or you can use it as a local input to the system. There's also a uh, sleep state in its power management on the Tessera version, which will cut down your electrical bill during off hours. That can be either through GPIO or as a configurable automatic uh, power down sequence. So where is D-Series, the logical choice? where everywhere where you have a little bit of SPL requirements, you have requirements on surveillance of the amplifier and surveillance of the loads, D-Series is the perfect choice. And all these applications apply along with House of Worships and whatever you can think of, really. We are shipping D-Series in September. 
if you have more questions or want to know more, we have two kiosks operational here with all the software, so we can walk you through it if you want. And there's also more information at integrationsuperpower.com or through the Amplifier or Lab Group and website. Thank you very much for listening.